Is it dumb not to hire an engineer when you're building a house? Welcome to the Affordable High Performance Home Series. Howdy y'all, I'm Jordan Smith. I'm a design builder here in Austin, Texas, and we are trying to answer the question, can you build an affordable, high performance home? High performance, easy. Affordable, eh, not so easy. Especially when you are paying for professional services. In our last episode, we talked about designers. I think it's worth paying for a designer from the beginning. I think it pays dividends down the road. And in this episode, we are talking about engineering. Is it worth it to pay a structural engineer to design the structural components of your house? The answer is a little bit complicated. If you're building a very simple structure and you are building in very easy soil conditions, if you build to code, you have all of the information you need to build a house that won't fall down. The trick is, how do you know that your soils are favorable? Are you just guessing? Are you talking to the dirt work guy in your area? Maybe you're fortunate and you're building directly on bedrock. In my case, here in Texas, we have a lot of expansive soils and they can wreak havoc on foundations. As a builder, I don't wanna take the liability of guessing what kind of foundation needs to go under the house and then end up having to pay warranty work, which can get incredibly expensive on foundations five years down the road because the whole house is moving. I would rather pay an engineer to tell me, this is your soil conditions, this is the type of foundation we're putting underneath it, and then they put a stamp that says that foundation will work for this structure on that soil conditions. Another added benefit is they also size all of your beams, all of your connectors, everything that goes into the structure of the house is detailed by the engineer and it makes it so much easier for the builder to come in and say, I'm not guessing on what size of a beam I need across the living room. The engineer has told me your beam should be this size and they do all their calculations on deflection and load limits and snow loads and seismic loads. All of that stuff is taken care of for you so you're not having to do a ton of research or your builder's not having to guess or maybe he's a really good builder and he knows exactly what code requires for your area, but it's still good to have somebody who has a license to stamp off on it because you know that they've done all of the calculations that likely the builder hasn't done. So for my money, I would rather invest in the engineer early on. It's about two bucks a square foot right now. So an 1800 square foot home is gonna cost $3,600. In the big scheme of things, on a four or $500,000 house, $3,600 isn't that much money and it's so much more peace of mind. You know it's gonna be built right from the beginning. The builder has more confidence because he or she's looking at the actual engineered plans and is saying, this is how we are going to build this. And then all they have to say is, we built it like that. And most engineers, you get the benefit, you can pay them for a site visit They'll come and they'll inspect all of your framing, they'll inspect your foundations, they'll do an inspection to make sure that what they drew is what was actually built. So you can sleep well knowing that not only was it designed right, but it was actually built right. So to answer the question from the top, is it the dumbest thing ever to not hire an engineer? No, you can build a very good structurally sound house by following the prescriptive code. It's just more difficult to make sure that you're checking all of the boxes for the code rather than paying a professional that that's all they're doing and that's all they do every single day. They know your site, they know the local geography, they're able to design a house specifically for your lot. And you can sleep easy knowing that at the next windstorm, your house isn't going to fall down on your head. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, we've got a lot more good content where we're getting into the nerdy stuff of how this foundation was actually built out there on the site. Put your comments below on whether you think engineering is worth it or not. And join us next time as we endeavor to build better.